Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. So today I wanted to give my reaction on the Outlaw Pass 5, which was leaked by a bunch of data miners. And I want to thank my friend Rockstar Guides for actually sharing this information with me. I will link his channel down below. He's a great guy. He does a bunch of Red Dead and GTA videos. So make sure you guys check him out. But here we'll be looking at Outlaw Pass 5 and most of the stuff that's in there. So we have this, this is the poster for Outlaw Pass 5. The Outlaw Pass 5, and we actually see a picture of like a hay arrow target, you know, one of those arrow targets that's in the hay. Um, we see arrows on the side of it. So likely there's gonna be something with the bow in this update, and there's actually something later on in the Outlaw Pass that'll show that. But it says, experience more luxury and convenience. The Outlaw Pass returns. Upgrade your Wheel, Wheel, Wheeler, Rawson, and Co. Club membership now and earn the trappings of a dashing outlaw sophisticate. Members who sign up for the Outlaw Pass will receive an array of new rewards including special clothing, new satchel and skill pamphlets, advanced photography enhancements, bonus cash, special offers, and much more. You can also earn up to 25 gold bars. High quality, true value. Do not hesitate. And it's important to know that in this Outlaw Pass, this Outlaw Pass costs 35 gold bars. So this one costs 35 gold bars, and you get 25 gold bars back. So again, you don't get all of your gold bars back. Rockstar might have some kind of event like they had with the last Outlaw Pass that if you buy this Outlaw Pass within the first week, you might get the 10 gold bars back whenever that comes out. Not sure if they'll do that, but they had that with the last one. So it says, through these um, pass rewards will stay, though these pass rewards will stay with you, the Outlaw Pass number 5 is only available during the club membership period. And we actually see down there, we see what looks like a new carriage. I haven't seen that carriage before. Um, it looks actually pretty armored, or it has a lot of cover, I should say. So there's doors, there's windows around it, so not too many places... Um, not too many places that you can get shot from. So what this carriage could have, I'm not sure, but it looks more like a passenger carriage, if you ask me. Not doesn't look like a carriage that you carry cargo in. Looks more like a passenger carriage. Now, whether that's just art or that's something that's gonna come into Red Dead Online, I, I don't know. So now let's take a look at what's actually in the Outlaw Pass. So here we go. This is the first um, new piece of clothing that's in the Outlaw Pass. And this Outlaw Pass is kind of weird in it that it has just a lot of like you know, animal parts and bones in it, like skull things in the clothing. So we see some kind of boots made from a reptile, possibly an alligator, and then we looks looks like a bird skull there. Moving on, we have a another kind of outfit. Now I'm not sure what this could be made out of, but one thing that I do notice is I notice that there's skulls as the buttons in the middle of the outfit. So there's that. Going forward, we have this, which this is supposed to match with those boots that we saw earlier. And this leads me to believe this is probably an alligator jacket. So it looks like an alligator jacket to me. And it looks like that's alligator teeth on the sides. I just personally think it's it's kind of weird looking. Like I don't I don't think it's terrible, but I, I just think it's kind of weird looking, especially the coloring, you, you know, kind of like blue alligator style. Going forward, we have uh, another piece of clothing again. Um, looks like to be made from animal parts again. Now, I'm not sure what the teeth could, for that could be, but it looks like some kind of animal teeth on a new pair of gloves. And looks like these, um, kind of these blue eyes um, uh, carved into the gloves on the side. So kind of these stitches for these blue eyes. And we got this new hat here and looks like um, some type of bird's um, claws. So could be a hawk's claws or could be an eagle's claws. Then we have this hat here, um, this hat, again with the skull stuff that I was telling you guys about, two cards in it, um, feather, and skulls all around. Just overall, kind of like weird clothing if you ask me, just just what I think. You know, this, this seems like stuff that would have come out on Halloween personally. And now this, this is probably the weirdest piece of clothing in the next Outlaw Pass. Now, you're wondering what on earth is this thing? This is a fake beard. Yep, that's right. Um, now, it took me actually a minute to process this at first. I was like, wait, what, what the? And, and I looked and I see, you see, look on the top. You can actually see it's actually hanging by the ears. So this is actually a fake beard, most likely made of the hay. Just kind of weird, weird looking. Uh, I can definitely see players messing around with this. Does kind of look funny. But overall, like I said, kind of weird with the other clothing. And then we have this, this these pants. They match the previous outfits that we saw. You see that that pattern on the pants, kind of those that those eye shapes there, blue again. 
And now here we have the buckles. Now these buckles could signify something to come in this update or it could just be random. But this one, this looks to me like it's naturalist. Now, I'm not sure what animal that is there. Um, I'm not exactly 100% sure. I, I don't want to make a mistake. Let me know what animal you think that, that could be there. But this looks like naturalist to me, like looks like the animal documenting something. Moving on here, um, this looks like possibly a wolf. And this is based on Sadie's design. So this right here, you see the um, you see the shirt, and then you kind of see that blue ribbon that's tied around the neck. That is actually Sadie's outfit with the hat. So let me have a picture of Sadie Adler on the screen right here. So this picture is directly um, inspired by Sadie Adler, or I should say this buckle in the game is directly inspired by Sadie Adler. So kind of kind of weird. Wolf in Sadie's clothing in a way. Then we have this here, we have another animal um, dressed up, and it looks like possible moonshine bottle that the animal is holding, so it looks like a moonshine buckle. And then we have this here, um, uh, this looks like a cougar, um, and I'm not sure what role this is meant to represent, if this represents any type of role, let me know what you guys think down, down below. And now we have some more additional clothing, we have this black... Um, uh, black button sh shirt here, also matching pants to that. We have a new vest here. I actually like this vest. This vest I actually think looks kind of interesting. Um, looks com something kind of like possibly an outlaw could wear. And then we have this snake vest here. So this is to match the other outfits that we saw earlier. And now this, this is just the same pieces of clothing that we saw, but on a male character now. So you can see what it looks like on a male character again. This is the same pieces of clothing that we saw earlier. So we see that alligator jacket, those gloves, the hat, the fake beard again, the pants, and the buckles. Let's skip through this, I guess. We've already seen this earlier. Okay, now here we got something more interesting. Uh, additional arrow pouches. So you will be able to hold more arrows. So now you're able to hold 40 standard arrows, which is this is probably going to be for the standard arrows because I can't see this being for more because imagine if they let you carry more explosive arrows. I think that that could be a problem because explosive arrows are really deadly. A lot of people use them and an explosive arrow could easily ruin a trader sale. It's just one. So... I don't think that they're going to let us carry more explosive arrows. I think it's going to be the regular arrows, but I could be wrong. Um, they could really add anything at this point, so it could even be for the special arrows um, more, to be, more to be able to carry. So here we have a repeater ammo pouch, and now this, this could be kind of weird too, because the repeater, we can carry 200 standard rounds, 200 express rounds, and 200 high velocity rounds. The only rounds that um, we're kind of limited to is 10 explosive rounds. And then we have 100 split point rounds. So this could be an increase in split point rounds. Again, I don't think they're going to let us carry more um, explosive rounds because you can carry 10 of those at a time. That could severely make the game unbalanced if they add the ability to carry way more explosive rounds. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see whether this is for regular or special ammo. We also have additional revolver ammo pouches. Now revolver, it's the exact same thing as the repeater. Carry 200 standard rounds, and then you carry um, a 200 special rounds, high velocity express, 10 explosive rounds. So we'll have to see exactly what this increases. Maybe it's gonna increase the split point rounds from 100 to 200. We're gonna have to wait and see for that. And another thing is, if this stuff is possibly locked, which we don't know 100%, we'll only know when the Outlaw Pass comes out, but if this stuff is actually locked behind um, the part of the Outlaw Pass that you need to buy with gold, this could be a problem and players could argue that this is pay to win. And there's two forms of the Outlaw Pass. There's the standard form, which pretty much everyone gets just leveling it up, and there's the other form where you can only buy that with gold bars. Um, so you get the other bar, the yellow bar below. So if this is locked behind the one of gold bars, I could see a lot of players being up in arms about this. And then we have additional varmint ammo pouches. Now this, I'm definitely open to. I'm definitely way open to carrying way more than 100 varmint rifle rounds because we can only carry 100 varmint rifle rounds at a time. And for the sedative, we can carry 200. If we could carry 300, I'd be really happy because a lot of people don't like constantly going back to um, Harriet to getting more. So I definitely welcome the varmint ammo pouch. And lastly, here at the end, we're going to have some emotes, and then I think we'll have the camp flag. So we see a new emote here, kind of like, oh, I can't hear you, or kind of like around that. Then we have this one, maybe like a surprised emote. Don't know what to describe this one if. 
This one's kind of like an oh my god, really emote. Kind of similar on that, like um, what's going on here? Um, maybe this one's kind of like they're tired after doing something. This one's like no, uh, uh, don't do that. This one's more like a boo emote. And then this one is the you know middle finger emote. I think that one pretty much speaks for itself. Uh, don't expect players to be friendly with you if you show them that emote. Uh, so now here we have a new dog. So a new dog in the camp, always welcome. I think people like this, but again with the dogs in Red Dead Online, you know they could do much more with them. Why don't you know we? Why don't they allow us to take dogs with us in the world? Maybe to help us find collectibles, find certain herbs, or maybe to track bounty targets. I mean, there's so much that they could do with the dog, but instead of the dog, all it could possibly do is alert us if if the camp is getting raided. And now we have this, um, uh, Schif Schiffer, Schif Schif Schiffen, or Schiffer, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to see if that's an N or, or an R at the end, but it's a brewery here. And, uh, about this, now, some people might argue, oh, this is proof that Rockstar is going to do, like, a Moonshiner, um, expansion. While they could do a Moonshiner expansion, I don't think this is proof at all that there's going to be a Moonshiner expansion, because if you think about it, the camp flags that we have, there already is a brewery flag, so unless they've been planning to add breweries for a long time, I don't really see it happening. I think this is just a generic camp flag that they're giving us. I don't think this means that there's going to be any kind of brewery coming to the game. And now we have this um uh this kind this flag here. Um, I can't um I can't even read it. Even if I zoom in all the way, I'm unable to see it. Um, so this um this I'm I'm not sure what this flag could represent. If anybody knows, let me know down below. And now we have some moonshine pictures. We have a picture of an elk in front of um, a mountain. We have um, uh, this looks like it's a New Austin. Yeah, this is this is that valley that's kind of in new in the New Austin area. And now this um, this right here. This is the um, this is the lagoon that is actually in the Amberino region. And here we have like a picture of a living room in a, in a mansion. And this, this is the mayor's house. So this is the mayor's house in Saint Denis. And the thing about this is that, get this, there are so many players that want mansions in this game. We want to be able to own properties like this, but instead, you know, what we get is we get background pictures. We get background pictures of the mansion. You know, so if you can't own a mansion, you can at least pretend to be in front of one, I guess. And that is pretty much it. There is um there is no more pictures after that. That is all the pictures that are that was in the Outlaw Pass Five. So it doesn't look like there's anything big or really that exciting in there, unless I miss something. But let me know what you guys think down below. I think that whatever this update is, this update needs to come out as soon as possible, as soon as possible. And the soonest that I could see this update come out is around in two months, because the Outlaw Pass expires in March 15, so a little bit less than two months. So please, Rockstar, if you're gonna release this DLC. Release this in March, if you if that's the earliest that you can do it, because this game really needs a DLC. It really, really needs a DLC. I like Reddit Online, and I don't want to see it being pushed to the side like this. After the Bounty Hunter DLC in December, a lot of players aren't happy, so please, Rockstar, seriously consider giving us this next DLC as soon as you can. So that is that for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, and if you're new to my channel, join my content, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everyone.